<laughs> That's good. Hello, thank you for joining another story time with Rise Kids. We're just gonna wait here for like maybe five to 10 seconds until all the kids join in. Uh, I, I would like to share it with everybody at the same time. It's just gonna be fun and exciting. I especially like today's story. It's about staying grounded, staying grounded. It's about gravity. Gravity is so interesting. But we're gonna wait here. I hope you, if you guys have any questions too, if you have any questions, you can just ask in the comments, uh, my, or Lee over there, my wife, she's just gonna be able to answer it and she can ask me and we can answer it live here. Or if you wanna get more content like this, you can go to the Rise Church group. Just search it in your uh, browser or the Facebook browser search bar and uh, we will accept you there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Today is about staying grounded. Our scripture of the day is all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. That's found in 2 Timothy 3.16. Okay, so gravity is a force that pulls two objects together. It's what keeps your feet pulled down to the ground. Gravity might not seem like a big deal until you think about life without it. It's the Earth's gravity that keeps you from floating off into space. Bye. <laughs> and it's what makes an apple fall off a tree. You can just ask Isaac Newton about that one. Gravity also affects how much you weigh because weight is a measurement of how much gravity pulls on an object or you. For example, you would weigh a tiny bit less at the equator than at the North Pole because gravity has a slightly stronger pull at the North Pole. But the gravity on other planets is very different. Mars has a lot less gravity. So if you would weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh only about 38 pounds on Mars. But Jupiter's gravity has a much stronger pull. So you'd weigh 236 pounds there. That's right, you weigh 236 pounds on Jupiter. So if you wanna gain, go to Jupiter. <laughs> Just as God keeps us physically grounded with gravity, he keeps our hearts and minds grounded with his word. It's full of wisdom, knowledge, encouragement, and teaching that we need. Guys, we need to read his word every day. God's word anchors us in truth, lifts us up in him, and gives us an unchanging place to ground our lives. It's a force more powerful than any planet's gravity. I'm going to say that again. The Bible, his scripture, is a force more powerful than any planet's gravity. That's our lesson for today, or that's our story time for today. I'm going to read you guys some interesting scientific fact about gravity, and then we're going to pray. So be amazed. Even though gravity has been around since God created the universe, Sir Isaac Newton first discovered it about 300 years ago. What? Only 300 years ago? Come on. Legend says Newton was sitting under an apple tree when an apple fell on his head. In reality, he probably just saw the apple fall and realized some sort of invisible force had made it fall. And he called it gravity. He discovered gravity? No way. You guys can see the apple right here and you can see gravity making the slinky go down the stairs. If you have a slinky at home, that's a fun thing to do. So I would try that. All right, I, that is it for our story time. We're gonna bow our heads and we're gonna pray. You go ahead, close your eyes. Dear Lord, teach me your ways and show me how to live. Guide me with truth of your word and please forgive me when I do wrong. Lord, help me go to your word, go to your scripture to be lifted up, 
to find the truth in you and ground ourselves, anchor ourselves and in the unchanging place, Lord, grounding it in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us. You can catch us again tomorrow. It's not going to be here on the Rise Church page, but it will be on our group. So I'm very excited and uh, catch you then. Bye. Thanks, Leah.